Hey there, web enthusiasts and Instagram stars. Today we're bringing the social media party to your website with the creation of an Instagram feed widget. Looking to effortlessly share your Instagram escapades on your website? You're in the right place. Join us as we guide you through the process of embedding your Instagram feed, turning your website into a vibrant canvas of your visual storytelling. Get ready to captivate your audience, boost your online presence, and create a seamless bridge between your Instagram world and your website. Let's dive in and make your website shine with Instagram brilliance. You must use a third-party tool to embed Instagram posts on your website. So first of all, click the link in the description of this video and create your account for free using your email address and password. The best part is you can create multiple widgets, install them on all your sites and manage them easily under one dashboard. Perfect if you are a multiple websites owner. Once registered, follow the steps in this video to create a stunning Instagram widget for your website. Go to Catalog Home as you see and search for Instagram Feed Widget. Click on it and you will be directed to Instagram Widget Builder. It is a visual editor with live preview, so you do not need coding knowledge to use it. Now you will see several templates from the left-hand side as well as the live preview on the right side. There are several templates based on design and use cases. Yes, you can edit each template later. Click on a template to preview it. Also, you will see a little mobile icon in the top right corner of the widget preview section. Click on it to preview your Instagram widget on mobile devices at any time. As you see, all templates are mobile friendly and they adapt to screen size and work seamlessly. The best part is all new updates to your Instagram accounts will appear on the widget without you needing to do anything. Select a template and click the Continue with this template button at the bottom left corner. After that, you will see the settings for your Instagram widget. On this page, you can add your Instagram sources, filter content, moderate which content to display, edit widgets layout, and customize appearance. The first thing you need to do is add your Instagram feed sources. There are three choices, public accounts and hashtags and business and personal accounts. To integrate your business Instagram page or personal account, you have to grant access by connecting the Instagram widget builder with your Instagram account. If you want to embed any public account or posts based on hashtag, you do not require connecting your Instagram account. The best part is you can add multiple Instagram sources and make a diverse feed to improve user experience. You can moderate which Instagram posts and how many of them to display on your widget in the Filters section. Setting a filter is easy. You can make a whitelist or blacklist. On a whitelist, only selected filters will be used, while on a blacklist, those that were added won't be shown. These filters can be created based on keywords, hashtags, or post URLs. And you can create multiple filters to make the Instagram feed clean and as you want it to be. Click on the Layout menu to customize the Instagram widget's layout. You will find two options, Slider and Grid. 
Each layout has its own settings. For instance, you can control which elements to show on the header, such as profile picture, full name, Instagram username, verified batch followers in following counters, and follow button by ticking them on. Click on the post, tap to select a post style, show or hide post elements, and set up post click action. As you can see, there are two post styles and you can control which elements to show. If you don't want share buttons to show, for example, untick it. By default, posts will show on a pop-up. If you want people to direct you to the Instagram post page, select that option. Also, you can set up pop-up. The action buttons are a feature that allows you to add call to action buttons to specific Instagram posts. It is a helpful feature to promote specific products or services. Also, you can change the appearance of your widget to resonate with your website's colors. Click on the Style tab and access these settings. Once you have created the widget, preview it on mobile to see if further adjustments should be made. Rename it to recall it later easily. Once you are ready to add it to your website, click on the Publish button and close the editor. 
Now you will be redirected to the Instagram widget manager. On this page, you can find all your Instagram widgets as well as get their embed codes. Click on the install button and copy the HTML embed code. This is the code you should add to your website's template, theme, or HTML source code editor to display the created widget. If you need further assistance with installing it, check out the linked resource guide. Or you can drop a comment below. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please consider liking and sharing with your friends to support us and inspire us to create more tutorials like this. Subscribe to our channel to receive notifications on future videos like this. Check out other videos on our channel to upgrade your website today. Have a good day!